Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. <clears throat> do you guys notice something different about me? What do you notice? Anything in particular? Yes, I'm in a different country and I'm glad you made that observation. I've been a curly girl since I was 13. I still have family that asks me what's going on with my hair, why is it like that, uh, and then I'll be like, no, I leave my hair curly all the time, uh, and then they're like, oh, and I'm like, okay, so they clearly are not really loving curly hair. I'm so proud to be a curly girl. This time when I was visiting Egypt, I was really, really happy to see a lot more curly girls, <clears throat> a lot more cur curly girls embrace their natural beauty, their natural curls, what makes them different. I shot a vlog in Egypt and it's a curly hair routine, but it's not just any regular curly hair routine. I wanted to do a curly hair routine, refresh my hair, but I wanted to mix it in with the most beautiful monument that represents Egypt, which is the Great Pyramids of Giza. I love my culture, I love who I am, I love where I'm from, and I also love what makes me look different, what makes me who I am. So this video is for all the curly girls, all the girls who embrace your natural beauty, even when society tells you that a certain thing is beautiful. I'm shooting this intro a second time because I feel like I had the idea in my head in, in Egypt, but I didn't voice it as strongly as I am right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment below if you do enjoy this vlog, video, tutorial, and thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> my hair is looking like, how do I describe this? It's looking like a ma'asha. It's looking really bad. Okay, I need to refresh it. I have 10 minutes to go downstairs and I wanted to show you guys a really quick hair revival routine that I do when I'm short on time to bring back my curls. By the time I get to the pyramids, by the time I get to the tombs, I should look like a piece of gold myself. So yeah, anyways, I'm sorry. Let's get right into it. First, you're gonna need some water. Hold on, it's a mess. I'm only using two products. The first product I'm using is Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. Second one I'm using is the Innate Life Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just gonna section my hair and my hair is so dry that it doesn't even need a hair tie to stay where it needs to be. And I'm taking some product, not too much, and I'm gonna be mixing it with more water. The key is water, water, water. Do not be afraid to saturate your hair with water and a little bit of product. So I'm just gonna be, I'm not combing through, I'm just massaging. This area, this needs more water. Water. Just my hair is so dry, it needs moisture, so I'm just hitting it with style milk and leave-in conditioner. I'm just gonna be repeating this throughout my hair until I have hit every single layer of my hair with new moisture, with new leave-in. I smooth it out and then I crunch it up. The top layer needs the most revival. Water. More water. My hair is thickest right here in the back, so I try to section it and really focus hard on this area. It's also the frizziest and the driest for me. So I learned over the years to really concentrate with product there so it gets a lot of moisture. Just, just fill it up, fill it up. Water, 
Okay, so that was the process of refreshing my hair. I'm not gonna touch it at all. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like when it dries. So stay 